you seem idiotic, it's more idiotic. Read. And the Lord God called unto Adam. And the Lord God, who is all-knowing, sees everything, stands outside of space and time, and looks at time and space like you and I look at a dot on a page. Right? What does the Lord God do? And said unto him. God, who knows everything, says to Adam, what does he say? Where are thou? Where are you? It don't get no more idiotic than this, y'all. Wait a minute. God, you don't know where Adam is? This is like a divine game of hide and go seek here, man. Go ahead. And he said, I have heard thy voice. And Adam answered God, I heard thy voice in the garden. In the garden. And I was afraid. And I was afraid. Because I was naked. Y'all hear that? And I hid myself. I was afraid of you, God, because I was naked. I can see God now. I can see God now. Fool. What do you have that I didn't make? What do you have that I haven't already seen? And you you hid yourself because you were naked? Y'all, come on. Go ahead. And he said, Yes? Who told thee that thou wast naked? Are y'all getting this? God had to ask Adam if he ate of the tree that he told him not to eat of. And what happened? And the man said, the woman. Uh Uh-oh. That woman. Uh Uh-oh. Who thou gave it. Check this out. Y'all getting this? Now, the only question was, did you eat the fruit? That was the question. What did this punk say? time, just go ahead and just read that that whole thing, because it gets real deep. You know what, let's just have some fun for a moment. Let's just read on and see the consequences here. <laughs> go ahead, let's, let's finish it out. Let's, let's check out the consequences of what happened. Now, here he says, to, he says to God, oh, this is so idiotic. He says to God, the woman you gave me, gave me the fruit. And I ate it. So what happened next? And the Lord God said unto the woman. So then God said to the woman. What is this that thou hast done? What did you do, girl? (laughs) What did you do? And the woman said. And so what did she do? The woman said, the serpent beguiled me. She blamed it on the serpent. Ain't nobody taking the blame for their actions here. The woman you gave me caused me to eat this fruit. So God said to the woman, what did you do, woman? It wasn't me, it was the serpent. The serpent beguiled or tricked me and did what happened? I I did eat. And I ate. Mm -hmm. And so what happened next? And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Yes. Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Okay. Y'all can finish reading this on your own, because I want to deal with this for a moment. God said to the snake, according to what we just read, or what Mr. Said, God said to the snake, the innocent snake, 
you are cursed. And not only are you cursed, little innocent snake, but every other snake must now crawl on its belly and eat dust. Look at somebody and say, snakes don't eat dust. Snakes eat rats, other living things. Snakes don't eat dust. Now, what condition must this snake have been in before it got cursed? Now, we were taught that he walked upright. How idiotic. Every since snakes evolved into reptiles, they have crawled. Snakes, there was never a snake that walked, y'all. And if you think that there was a snake that walked, you are suffering an idiotic syndrome. Don't tell nobody that. Don't teach your child that. There was well, snakes used to walk. <laughs> put that mess in that little child's mind. It was put in mine. It was put in yours. And we believe that they crawl because of the curse. No, they crawl because that's the way they were designed. There's nothing anywhere in literature or history to tell us that snakes walked upright. Now what's really deep is why would God curse the snake? Why didn't he curse the devil? See, here's how idiotic this is. This devil in the form of a snake, right? Didn't get cursed. But has been allowed to continue his evil dastardly work throughout all time. Why every 